hey, hey, friends. Rolling with them rails is on another adventure. So this weekend, we are on our way to Kentucky. So we're going to do the Kentucky Bourbon Trail. We're on our way to going to Kentucky. We decided to stop at this distillery right across. It's in Kentucky, but it's right across the border of Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio. As soon as you cross over, there's a distillery there. So we decided to try it out. A co-worker told us about it. I'm a so it's called New Rift Distillery. So we decided to make a pit stop. I don't know what that is. It's called Party Also, It's a big liquor store. It's called the, the Party Source. So you get your liquor, party goods, beer, wine. Might have to go in there and check it out. Anyway, we're gonna go in. If they let us video, we a video. If not, we'll try to take some pictures and let you guys know how it is. Puppy is parking. So if you can go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, it would be greatly appreciated. So once we get in, we'll let you see what it's about. Distillery. New Rift Distillery. Look like they got a tour going on right now. If you can see up there in the window, you see people in there, they must be doing a tour. Wow, I smell it, and I don't know if it's the flowers or I smell them making the, the bourbon because this smell is really good out here. Okay. So this is the tasting bar and gift shop. It smells so good in here, guys. drinker they also have gin they got a little lounge area you can come and sit down and lounge while you drink your bourbons Starting here, it's 100 proof. Then I would move up to this one, and then that one right there. That's my favorite. One five two four four. Okay. Yeah. So this is 100 proof right here. Is it broken? <laughs> This one is good. Whatever this is, it has to be. It's 100 proof, so this is good. Smooth. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's pretty smooth. I like that. So, if you ever have time before you go to Kentucky and you come in from Ohio, right across the the bridge coming from Cincinnati going into Kentucky, there off of 471, exit 5. Try New Rift Distillery. This is pretty good, guys. Very smooth. Very good. It's all be up. Just the beginning of what could be. So don't let that lock you in. Get you further in. Uh, let me make sure I got that one back here. You got the bitters and the bourbon drink. That's where they're So this is Grover hey, at New Rift Distillery. Come see him. Ask for him. Ask for the whiskey. You ain't got to ask me. Ask for the award-winning whiskey of bourbon and rye spirits here at New Rift Distillery. If okay. you don't know, you will know soon. Uh, but love to have you down. Come for a tour and chase. Uh, even if you got time to tour and chase, we got a bar located on the top floor. They get you everything you need. Cocktail, shampoo, and taste. But we'd love to have you here, folks. Appreciate y'all. Support the page. Support the page. Yes, yes. Now we're gonna stop in this the party source. Just get give, give y'all a quick look around if y'all in the area. Everybody got all the food. Go find somebody else because I need somebody to work <laughs> and hold it down for me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> mm. hey. This is really good. This is really Thank good. you. Yeah. Thank, good. You, Thank you, darling. Thank you.
We're just waiting on the fries. So we got chicken fillies on deck. Act the clean. So, since we're on the bourbon trail going to Kentucky, what do you do? You make a bourbon soaked cake. Instead of rum cake, I use bourbon. When I say it is good, and buttery and strong look at all that goodness <laughs> great great coverage he does very at least you got something <laughs> for who are you thinking about Huh? Who you not thinking you about? Sure. Not you for sure. <laughs> there you go. One more piece. Good morning. Good morning, friends. We're out here at Jim Bean Distillery. Rolling do with them who? Reds. <laughs> about to do a, a tour of the Jim Bean, Bean, Jim Bean Distillery. Knob Creek and one of my favorites, Basil Hayden. So 
these are the three. Uh oh. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> That's the deflicker. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. All right. Now, now I have to take this, and you can do whatever you want to with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be sucking them fingers dry. Baby. <laughs> hey, you pay for it. Do it. There you go. Right. Yeah. So first, to label our own bottle, you gotta write your, what you want on your label. Then you come over here, and you grab a bottle. Anybody else? Put it on the shoulder. Uh, raise letters toward that wall. Yes, sir. Shoulder. Right back on the left, right there. Yeah. Anybody else, folks? Let's get your bottle and let's get it going. All right. Yep. Okay. Either nozzle, just hold over top. Nope. Hold on. There you go. Hold over top of it. Push it down. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Race letters towards the back wall. Try to, but it's up the shelf. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. So this is the labeling process, the filling up of the bottle, and you get to fill up your own bottle and label it and get to engrave it. the corking process so they cork the bottom. And this is the labeling process. Right there. And then once those labels are fired, they show them to take over. And now they're putting the labels on. And I'll call your name out once it's quite awesome. And then just put some Nautilus logo in there and pulls down the wax. Mm -hmm. You'll get the top one more time, and that's when you'll uh, step right over here. Mark and go walk to do the Jimmy White Labels will be just tried. Got the birthday girls. Tap your glasses together. There you go. Tell her she can't lay with these. I'm drinking them. Dying. That's what you Taking her good old time. Jeez. <laughs> that one that one baker threw me back. You got it. Oh, 
Who drink drink this bakers? I don't want that. Drink that bakers. I don't want that shit. That's the bakers. It's so strong. Here, it go. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you very much. Guys, I couldn't even finish them all. Ooh, I had to have help. restaurant at Jim Bean. Yeah, those are, those are really good. So we got pizza. And I got a, a bourbon cocktail. It's lavender. It has lavender and... What's this called? I don't even remember what it's called. What's this called again? <laughs> Morning Glory. What's this called? Oh, this is called Float Like a Butterfly. It's pretty good. It's not pretty good. It's good. She's floating like a butterfly. This is good. Really good. Got my little lavender flower in there. It has elderberry in here as well. Elderberry. So the pizza, they use the same yeast in the pizza dough that they use to make the bourbon. It's the same recipe. We're at our next stop on this bourbon trail. We at Barstown Distillery, Barstown Bourbon Distillery. We just popping in and popping out. We do a little tasting, no tour. The weather didn't work with us this this weekend like we thought. The weather changed, but we still. It's not bad, but it could have been better than what it was It was supposed to be. They were saying 70 degrees. The temperature dropped more and more every day as we was coming here. But we are still making the best of it. So this is our second stop on the trail. See all the way up there. If you could see those barrels, all those barrels in the, of the bourbon in that building right there. This house and all of these buildings. So this is an old fashioned. It has peach and ginger flavors in it. He tapped out on me already. So this is Barstown gift shop. 